We're still a little cautious about uh, how sustainable it is, but from hearing from the retailers and some of the uh, importers, it sounds like uh, we're going to see uh, that sustained business at least through the end of this year. We haven't had July figures come out yet, but what are you expecting to see there? I think we're going to see the continuation of that same trend we've seen the last eight months, uh, and that is another increase uh, in July of uh, 2010 over the July of 2009. So I think we're starting to see more ships. Those ships are, are more fully laden than they were at this time last year, and, and that's encouraging for everybody. But is this just a byproduct of companies restocking their inventories and taking advantage of cheap goods, or is it actually a sign that this recovery is sustainable? Well, I think it, it's a sign of, of, of a number of things. One, I think there, there is some restocking of inventories, but I think that took place in the early months of 2010. I think what we're seeing now is uh, the holiday merchandise starting to come in. I think the retailers are gearing up for uh, what we call the peak season. I think you're going to see uh, more goods in the stores, and I think everybody's uh, looking forward to a much better holiday season than what they had last you year. You guys are really on the pulse of what the holiday shopping season is going to be six months out. What are you guys seeing in terms of volumes coming in that indicate we are going to have a great holiday shopping season or a terrible one? Well, I think we're seeing the, the imported goods uh, and the containers like what you see here, obviously filled with holiday items, and, and we're seeing those in larger numbers. Tickle Me Elmo could be in Tickle, one of those Tickle Me Elmo containers. could be in there. Uh, holiday goods of all kinds of sorts of, of things, uh, mostly from China. Most of the goods coming into this port are coming from Asian nations, particularly China. About 60% of goods coming into this port come from China. As Asian nations continue to become more wealthy and more developed, are we expecting that trade balance to narrow? Are we expecting exports to uptick? Yes, I think that's really one of the, the beautiful things about international trade and uh, developing nations is as those citizens in those areas have more disposable income, they can start to afford uh, more expensive imported products, things that we export from the United States. Those things that we think of on a daily basis as major staples uh, uh, for all of us, uh, those are, are things that they haven't been able to afford. So you're going to see agricultural products uh, that really uh, start to move in, in greater quantities, uh, in larger numbers, and that really benefits uh, uh, those consumers, and it really improves the balance of trade. And we're starting to see higher value exports now uh, moving to, to those nations as opposed to waste paper, scrap, hay, cotton, and those kind of low value items. We're starting to see more, uh, more valuable items, which basically increases the, 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 or improves the balance of trade.